What's Gucci everyone? It's AJ here again. Sorry, just trying to have some fun here. And today I want to, I guess, make another video in the Git guide. That's a nice alliteration or whatever you call it. And today I want to talk a little bit more about Git and talk about uh, deleting and removing branches. So, first of all, the way I'd like us to go about this is to make sure that, first of all, we're all on the same thing with Git here. So, in Git, you have your working directory, which, you know, kind of is, um, it's your computer, and that's your workspace, and I'll call that WS, and then you can, and then from your workspace, you can add it to kind of an index area, which is the stage area, and then from the index area, you can add it to your commit history. And once you once you hit it to your commit history, it's very important, is only your commits have the snapshots of your work. So, you know, Git is version control software. It allows you to keep track of recent versions of your work if you ever want to go back or look at, or look at different things. And it's really cool about that. But so it provides you a workspace to look at things, an index to... Um, provide to be a middleman to say, okay, hey, are these the changes I want to make? Am I sure these are the changes I want to make? And the commit history is saying, hey, okay, these are the snapshots of the files and what states they were in for you to go back to or um, kind of or do co complex things later on. And then so so this is kind of a Git workspace here, right? This is a Git workspace here. And so simply when you have, my God, that was such a <laughs> that was such a bad box. But when you have kind of this kind of Git workspace. You can also have other Git workspaces, and it's just that they're on another server. So if you have a remote repository, it's simply the same workspace, except it's on a different server. So when you, and that's when you push. When you push, you're sending um, your commit history, your commit to a different server for that um, remote to, you know, that remote to work. Now that remote does work the same though. You can add things, you can commit things, and you can um, you can pull things, which is pretty cool. And you can also have you can have more than uh, two Git workspaces. You can have a third one feeding into this one, and that's okay. And so that's really how Git works here. And so um, it's okay. Why I want to say this is that in Git there is the notion of branches. You know, there's the notion of hey, I've got one commit, and then I've got a second commit, and then I've got a third commit. And then while if I want to work on something new, I can t make a branch off here and let people keep on committing here. And when I'm done with my feature, I can merge this branch back in here with this remote. With that, I can merge that branch back in with the material. And then everything can keep going along smoothly. And then I can delete this branch fully and then make sure you know there's nothing else to do and so that's the power of git is that you can make things clean but you can also make things ugly very quickly and so that's what i want to talk about is that so you can create branches with the git you can delete branches i search you can delete branches with git branch um the d tag and then the name of it and then you can also um but what's harder is you can also delete private or um, you can also delete you know remote repositories by doing something else so what you want to do here is you actually need to do something a little bit more complicated so this is how you delete it on your local this is a local delete you know your local um, git repository that's a local delete but if you want to do a you know remote delete you have to do git push and then you need to do your master or whatever your main line branches your main branches which usually is origin or master that's what github makes it usually and gosh that looks terrible so you have to make it you can do git push and then you can do you know yeah master or your origin and then you have to give it the delete switch and once you give it the delete switch then you can give it the name and i ran out of room there sorry guys okay so now let's go over a quick video of this and let's do it so so now I'm back here with my terminal and a GitHub page in the background, which I'll be up, which I'll be showing you guys shortly. It's just the GitHub project that I have, and GitHub is my remote repository, as I showed you guys in the example. So what I'm going to do here is if I do a Git branch, I'm, you can see my master branch. That's why it's highlighted, and I'm going to do a Git checkout with the B switch, which 
um, makes a branch and switches me to it. So I'm going to say, um, I'll just call it new. And I'll make a branch called new, and I'm at new branch. And here I'm going to make a... I'm going to make a document called abc.txt, and then I'm going to do echo, let's say, uh, hi to uh, abc.txt. And now that I have abc.txt, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to commit it. I'm going to add it to my staging directory with git add dot. I'll just do that. And then I'm going to commit it with a message, because you always need to have a commit message, and then put that, and then that will take the snapshot abc.txt. So I added, I committed that to the file. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do git push and then I'm going to do origin, which is the name of kind of my private repo. And now I'm going to push it, push a branch up. So I'm going to push my new branch up right here. And this is going to create another branch. So now it says new branch. And if you notice, Sorry, this this actually automatically updated. That's pretty tight with Ajax, and then it says you recently pushed branches new. And if you notice here, Project Euler, it says I have one branch. I have one remote branch. And so if I refresh this, now it says I have two because now it now this two refreshes. So I pushed a whole different branch, and it, this is part of GitHub. But I can compare I can compare the changes and merge this with the main branch if I want. But now what I want to do is Let's say I've kind of I've merged all those things together, or I've made my changes, or I decided you know this I want this branch to go away. Well, I can do that with git push origin, and then I can kind of I can do my delete as I showed you guys before, and then I can give it new, and that will delete my remote branch as well. So I I made this because I thought it was very interesting. While you, as you can saw that comment went away, is that you st to delete a branch, you know. On regular, to delete a local branch, you just git branch D, which stands for D. But to do that here, you need to do git, you need the push, which doesn't make sense, because that, that that's why I decided to make this video. It doesn't make sense. You are pushing information, but then later on you're adding a switch. I guess the way you can think of it is that, hey, git push gets me to the remote repository, but then I want you to do some extra work, and I want you to delete the new branch. If I got rid of the delete, it would add the new branch. So you can kind of think of it as like, working through it, you know, incorporating your changes. So I'm pushing up to the remote repository, I'm getting there, and then I'm deleting that new branch. Well, guys, I found this confusing. I hope you may have thought about it or learned something today, and I hope at least someone's learning something. That's all I want. Have the best day of your lives. Hi again, everyone. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you guys for liking, subscribing, and commenting on this video. If you want to watch more videos of the same category, you can click over here. And if you want to watch any new videos and learn something new, you can click over here. Have the best day of your life.